Doing our thing again, competing with, um, we'll be competing with the end of, um, what's it called, Title Tuesday is what I still call it. Let me mute this. Oh, it is muted. Nice. And also, um, Pog Champs. <laughs> Getting close to the end there. I don't even know what's going on with that. I think Hafu and a couple of others are in the running maybe the mountain guy and i forgot the other guy's name anyway i haven't watched it that much but so we have a little bit of competition today but we're going to do our thing and hopefully we'll get a few people anyway all right (laughs) i hope so now tell us uh, who are the games that we're going over i forgot already uh the first game will be nielsen against fiddler okay and then it's rapport against vashir lagrav okay so and the first one's a blitz game. It was actually, I think, from a a theme tournament where everybody had to play B three on move one mm-hmm. with white. That was the tournament. That was oh, every, that was the theme. Was like it, yeah. I'm sorry, Nielsen against who again? Svidler. Okay. Oh, Svidler, Svidler. Okay. Um, hey, Bishop takes. Hey, Bishop takes. How's it going? I got to highlight. Jonathan five oh, four five. It's hard to see that man. Hey, Jonathan. Right. Well, that's an interesting tournament. So they yeah, had everybody yeah. had to play B3? Yes, on move oh. one. Oh, so I assume it wasn't rated? Probably not. <laughs> I don't think you can rate that Probably kind of not, tournament. Yeah. And, or maybe you can. I don't know if you it can. It might have that. even been before Blitz ratings existed for FIDE anyway. Oh, okay. That's kind of a recent thing. Mm-hmm. Blitz, and, Blitz and rapid ratings are pretty pretty new. Mm, okay. What year do you, did those come in, do you know? I don't know. The game was 2010. Hey, Pam. How's it going? I don't know exactly what year they started doing blitz and rapid ratings. Hey, I heard a noise, but why don't I Pam see sub. anything? It says it right there. Oh, okay. But I thought it would come over here. Or maybe this it's is blocked by September is here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that sub, Pam. We love you, too. We can't wait to meet you in person one day. <laughs> hey, Jen. How's it going? We were just talking about the um, the games that Spencer's going to go over in a minute. After you play After, some viewers. Yeah, I might play some viewers. Yeah, I should play some viewers. And then we have a couple of other big events going on that will definitely cut into our viewership. Our viewers. <laughs> um, we have the end of Title Tuesday finishing up there. Yay, three months anniversary. And then we'll have um, Pog Champs, I believe, starts as soon as that's over. Um, and I haven't really followed that very closely. But um, I think Hafu and the Mountain and maybe one other player are, you know, doing well. And that's about all I know. So but when I was looking at it the other day, there were like 50,000 pe- people watching that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot of players watching that. So. Probably mostly just their fans. Um, of, yeah. Of, the, of whoever, the poggers, you know, whoever mm-hmm. they are. I never heard of, like, any of these people before this. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, I think a significant number of chess people, you know, watch it too. But mm-hmm. I think you get the fans of the commentators too, um, which so that adds up to quite a bit. That's true. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> frankly <laughs> but I don't know I enjoyed watching it just for a moment but for it, a moment like this <laughs> well I mean it's funny to watch you know, Danya and some of their reactions because they're like oh they can see it you know it's like a real <laughs> simple move right and then they get really excited if they've coached them so it's kind of fun I can see that why people might want to watch it but you know, 10 minutes of it, and I'm ready to move on. Mm-hmm. That's fair. <laughs> you know, I'm real busy. But I can see if you got some time to kill. It might be interesting. Feel free to send Karen a challenge. Yeah, so let's Five move. minute or three minute. Yeah, I need a challenge. Uh, or I'm going to have to play some random person. All right. We're going to... Um, hey, kangaroo. I like five minute unrated or three minute unrated. Hey, kangaroo, how's it going? Exclaim challenge. (laughs) 
Yeah, five minute unrated is fine. We're gonna just do one or two games and then get right into the lesson. Yay! I got a couple challenges back uh -huh. to back. Oh yeah, look at that. Now they're pouring in. Uh oh, harness this up a little bit. All right. All right, we'll get it going then. Jen, you were first. <laughs> See if anybody will chat. I'm watching on my phone, says Bishop Takes. It's tough to challenge and watch on your phone. That's true. Mm -hmm. You have to like watch on another thing and then challenge on your phone or vice versa. Yeah, I enjoy the whole experience of Twitch so much better when I'm not on my phone, but sometimes you gotta do it on the phone, so. That's true. <clears throat> That's very true. Mm. Well, also there's less delay if you're uh, if you're on a computer. Oh. There's less stream delay. I didn't know that. And there's no mod view on phone, according to Kangaroo. Pam, yeah. Pam says she wants to play, but she doesn't know any openings. Well, that's not too important. Yeah, I mean, I don't really play the openings. I don't know. If I mean, Karen's first... already out of theory. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, you know make my best guess. Mm -hmm. I am going to improve my opening one day <laughs> when I have time. One of these days, straight to the moon. Mm -hmm. It's easy to play from your phone, says Pam. Yeah, but if you're playing from your phone, then you can't watch the stream. Mm -hmm. So That's it's, true. it's like a Sophie's Choice over there. That's true. Hi, well, how's it going, GGO? Is, is that how it is? GGO? Where are we looking? You can watch in the mini player. Is that true? Whoa. Blew my mind if that's true. The how's mini it going, player. Pet Serious? Hey, Pet Serious. Oh, GGO. I'm going to say that's GGO. Or GGO. Maybe it's GGO. No. Well. Not sure. GGO. <laughs> <laughs> Or oh, two bishops, what else? And I'm going to try not to push my queen side pawn since, according to Spencer, I always mess things up that way. <laughs> Trying is the first step towards failure, though. Mm -hmm. So you got to think about that. Oh, I've never seen you have such a time advantage. I know. I'm trying, trying to focus on, uh, you know. Keep it going. Let me see. The chess.com app disconnects you after 30 seconds of inactivity. That's true. That is pretty uh, true and strange. Also, I remember you were challenging and then you were watching on the app. And then when you'd go like back and forth between chess.com and the app, it would just keep sending the challenge over and over. Like, that's ridiculous. Come on. It should have like background activity. You know, that's what it should be like. All right. That guy's annoying to me. Get this knight out of here. I can't help it. You got to get out. Get out of my house. <laughs> yeah, got to go back to chess.com up every 30 seconds. Pizza or Chinese food? Hmm, that's a tough one. You know, pizza is like a solid choice. Uh, Chinese food is like it's it's really hit and miss depending on how good the place is. But like pizza is always solid. Oh, Something Dan happened. for days cheered. Yay! Three hundred one bits. For days. How's it going? Go Andy. Andy said, "Go Spencer," and go Karen. I actually said go Spence, but, you know, close enough. Mm-hmm. Duh. Duh, I don't like that. Hmm. Let's see what I should do here. Pepperoni's pretty good. But I don't know, I never really liked pepperoni more than sausage. You know, I've been a big fan of sausage. Personally. Of what? Oh, sausage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what? 
Thank God you didn't say pineapple. Aren't you glad I didn't say pineapple? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, pineapple's all right. I, I don't really like to put fruit on pizza, but, you know, I, I would eat it. Definitely not my first choice. It's definitely uh, like a, you know, a, a controversial topic. You know, people are, I love pineapple. No, I hate pineapple. You know, I'm, I'm sort of just don't care that much. Either way. But I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't add it. Oh, so you, Dan for days, you, I assume that's Dan for days. Do you uh, not have tomato sauce pizza? Like you use, what, barbecue or ranch or something? Because those are options. I usually just go straight tomato. Tomato, tomato, I say. What's going on here? You getting outplayed? Mm. Dang. Tough but fair. Never met a slice of pizza I don't like. <laughs> well, you know, I don't like mushrooms very much. That's one of the only toppings I don't like. I don't really even understand why people eat mushrooms, personally, on anything, like pizza or otherwise. Oh, a tomato is a fruit. That's true, Dan, for days. That is true. But it, that's only true in a... Uh, like scientific sense, not in a culinary sense. You know, tomatoes usually used uh, as a vegetable in, in dishes, right? It, it's it's not like it's not used generally in in uh, for example like desserts. You wouldn't usually use tomato, even though it's a fruit. Like you would eat fruit for dessert. So. But yeah, tomatoes are berries. Darn. Oh, mate in the face. I didn't even see it. Dang, that was tough. But Jin was playing really well that game. Mm. Definitely. You want to analyze it? Yeah. Darn. I just, I mean, I don't know why I can't ever see simple mates like that. But you played fast. I did so play fast. That's an improvement. That's an good game, Jin. Um, let me see what we got going on here. Hang, before you start hanging okay. on a second. Let me just oh right, right. Gotta take check this out. Take a little peek over here. <laughs> <laughs> Not surprising there. Yeah, and then uh, hey, Poshi, Fortuna. Okay, I'll say hey to people in a minute. All right, go ahead. So I always recommend to play that. Mhm. Mm but that's okay. So I think it's slightly more accurate to play h6 before castles, but it hardly matters. You should play h6 here. And then now you have a choice of two moves that you should play. b6 or knight e4. Mm -hmm. The Lasker variation or the Tardikauer. Instead you play with knight bd7. That's sort of like a, an old school way to play that's, that's a little bit worse for black. Okay. They traded, so now it's an exchange... So that's probably not the best. I think maybe rook c1 is the best move. And then you play to h6. Yeah, I don't like to play h6 after they exchange because it weakens the white squares a lot. You don't have pawn controlling f5. So like this maneuver to get the knight to f5 is strong, stronger than it would normally be. Oh, I see. Yeah. And that's why if you play h6 earlier, like this, mm -hmm. and then castle, and then let's say like that they exchange here. You don't take with the pawn, because then you get that exchange variation where you played h6. That's what you want to avoid. So you play knight takes here. That's the difference. Okay. Play I know you told me first. that before. I will remember it one of these times. <laughs> so here. And he took, which probably is wrong, but maybe it's okay. Because now you got two bishops, Fatels. Well, this looks kind of nice for white. Mm-hmm. So now, remember I said no, don't push your queen side pawns? Mm -hmm. But you should have. Because uh, after f4, usually you want to play c5. Because then you can try to break open this diagonal. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's less support on that diagonal. Right, exactly. And their knight is like really solid now, so you want to break it up. Mm -hmm. And then you could try to target that pawn if they have to move the knight. So c5 is smart after they play f4. It's like a, there's a related moves. I don't okay. know if you should play it right now, 
-hmm. but it looks good. Maybe you could play a6 first, so they can't play a knight here. Yeah, I was just looking at that. But you could go here and then just play bishop b8 and then play a6 later. Not a big deal. Because then, yeah, maybe you can bring it around here if they if they kick you, and that's pretty nice, actually. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I would just play c5 right away. Let's see what the computer says. It might say that's best. Come on. Bishop d7, queen. Okay, it just plays random moves. doesn't want to play c5. Bishop e6, uh, you know, that's okay, but then you have a hard time. It's what you did, even. You have a hard time fighting against this knight, because, like, if you go here, then they can play f5, trapping your bishop. Mm -hmm. So that's, like, the problem with bishop e6, but maybe you could just play this next. Well, if they did push the pawn, what am I supposed to do? What is the engine? Right, well, okay, it's okay now. You just back it up. But what right. I'm saying is if you ever play knight d7 to challenge oh. the knight, you can't, basically. Oh, I see. We got a uh, subscribe. Yay, something happened. Hey, thank you, such sweet thunder. Rawr. <laughs> yeah. So here, and you took, now they probably should have taken this way. Because now your knight, I'm just guessing, because now your knight is uh, in some trouble. You would normally go here, but then you're in the same problem where your bishop's trapped. Mm -hmm. So you might have to play knight h7, which is what you did in the game. However, in the game, you didn't have to play knight h7. And you shouldn't have, I don't think. Why not knight d7? That seems better to me. You know, in the center, instead mm -hmm. of in the corner. Yeah. Now here, I would probably play this move without even thinking, because you knight's attack, just move it. Knight's bad here anyway, so mm -hmm. I might as well just move it. Now f5 might be playable. You do give him a protected pass pawn, which is not great. But whatevs. Also, can't they just take it? It's hanging, right? So yeah, f5 just hung the pawn. Oh, yeah. If on passant, you could take with the knight, but they could just take it right away. Mm -hmm. So yeah, f5 is the blunder. You gotta just move your knight. It's attacked. Back it on up. Knight f8 is kind of a normal square for the knight in this position, too, I would say. Okay. But h7 is bad. Yeah, that was bad. I guess he didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, he could still take it. Eventually, he did take yeah. it. Yeah. And he's like, now I'll take it. Now that I maneuvered my knight here. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, then you hung mate in one. Yeah, I just didn't even see that, darn. So that was a good game by Jin. I, I could hardly criticize any of the moves, mm -hmm. except I guess they should have taken on f5 immediately. Yeah. And they probably shouldn't have played bishop takes knight, but maybe that was okay too. And overall, they played like pretty normal. Mm -hmm. Hey, Frap, how's it going? I'm still working on that other issue. <laughs> <laughs> so don't you worry. <laughs> um, I haven't seen Ben on here today. Let's real quick see what the people are saying. I just detest this mouse so much yeah. that it makes it unpleasant to even deal with anything. Yeah, mostly they were talking about pizza. <laughs> And then uh, I was weighing in on with my opinions. All right, I'm going to scroll it up and let's just glance. No mod view. On, okay, we already saw all that. You can watch the mini player. Um, just check in the chat for a minute, people. Hey, Andy, how's it going? Um, almost right, says Shigio. Maybe it's Shigio. Shigio. <laughs> Came in for the right uh, chat then, S. Murray. S. Murray. You're eating pizza right now? Is this still Dan for days? Yeah. Hey, Fab's music producer. Fab's music producer. Uh -huh. Very specific. Like it, it is very. Um, I'm just okay. So lots of discussion about pizza. Now your dad doesn't like it when people talk about other things, but I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, so what are they supposed to talk about? I guess Just the chess. The <laughs> but, you know, talk but about... But some people are like, you shouldn't talk about the chess because then you'll play differently. Yeah, talk so. about whatever you want to talk about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely talk about pizza, music. We always talk about music on this show. Yeah, so, you know... Video games. Get, you know... I know, I know Kangaroo, but he doesn't like it if, if he's really... Um, and correct me if I'm wrong, GM Benjamin Feingold, if you're there. <laughs> he doesn't like it if he's doing a lesson and he feels like people aren't paying attention. But mm -hmm. I think they are paying attention. They're just multitasking, you know. 
I mean, why would they be here if they're not paying attention? Yeah, and you know, maybe they're taking a little break from paying attention. It's fine. I've done that. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> People are tired. They've been at work. Whatever. Um, Let's see. Is the Domino's the best pizza chain? Or the very best. <laughs> Those are my only two options. Random Moves has a good point. I have a, very, a short attention. That's right. Some people need to take a little break. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, all right, so I'm going to play another game. Oh, yeah, Kangaroo's waiting for you. Let's see. It's 435. Probably get in one more game. Before, all right, we'll uh, do another game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a big... I'm not a big yes, the squire. I understand it's multitasking. I'm not a big pizza person, but um, it's a lot of carbs. I'm I don't know. The grease bothers me, like this oh, from yeah? the cheese. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel kind of greasy when I eat it. But sometimes I get in the mood. I really love greasy. Yeah, it is greasy. I really love um, veggie pizza more than with meats. But um, I can agree with that. Usually, if I'm getting a pizza, it has one meat and several vegetables. Yeah, yeah, I like a lot of veggies. I like. I don't like to not eat meat. <laughs> and I like um, somewhat thickish crust over thin. Right, down with thin crust. Mm -hmm, down with thin. Normal crust, crust <laughs> is the way to go. <laughs> Pam prays attention to everything you say. Eat, pray, love. I say. <laughs> I knew you meant pay. <laughs> All right, here we go, kangaroo. Let's see if I can not hang mate in one. I did better with my time, though, than the usual. That's true. All right. I didn't do the bishop <laughs> first. That's okay. <laughs> it didn't matter just because he played bishop g5 anyway. Let's see. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Oh, I know. Oh, castle. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Not hanging mate in one is generally good practice. That's true. Now let's see. Um, I don't remember what you told me. I've been loving DiGiorno lately. Well, it's not delivery, but it is DiGiorno. I just have to do my own thing. I forgot what you told me. That's all right. <laughs> Now I've got an isolated pawn. I know I couldn't take because I'm. Uh oh. Darn. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, I guess I have to come back. Let me see what he's going to do. I'm down a pawn. Wee. I need to learn how to draw arrows. How do you do it? Right click. Right click and then do what? Drag. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Although I'm not going there. <laughs> oh, wait, that didn't work. If you click and click, it's it'll be a red dot. You have to hold it and drag. Uh, all right. Good move. So, hold it and then drag. Yeah, there you go. It didn't. Or you're not letting go. Dude. You got to well, let I'm go. A, I'm afraid it's going to think I'm moving there. Oh, it didn't. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> well, I already know. <laughs> well, just use a piece that's like here that can't move and try. <laughs> You know, like they were kind of eight or something. Yeah. American pizza is not pizza. Well, don't, don't really understand. <laughs> How could it not be? It just is. Tacos are not pizza. That's true. But what if it's a taco pizza? Like it has the taco meat and, you know, normal taco fixings on it. Let's see now, is that, I could take that, I think. Take that, Maybe. rewind it back. Let's see. I almost never see pins either, I'm so bad. All I right. saw that one. <laughs> well, special cereal says hi to you, Karen. Uh-oh, now I'm gonna. Special cereal. Hey, special cereal. Now my pawns are all messed up. Karen is tactically sharp. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Not really. Sometimes. <laughs> Not always. Oh, no, now I'm going to lose my rook. All right. And one, two pieces for a rook. What's the problem? <laughs> yeah, my pawns are all messed up. 
Well, that's true. But it's worth some material in my book. Yeah. Big check. It's like it's payday over here. Not the candy bar, but payday, you know, mm -hmm. like when you get a check. Insane. Well, easier said than done, S. Murray. <laughs> Knife E5. Slightly different. <laughs> like Ben's student who had mate in one and then complained about his pawn structure. <laughs> yeah, I gotta have that, those priorities in order. That's for sure. Um. What would Magnus do? Says C.L. Smith. I assume that's what the M is for. Oh, Morphe. See, I wouldn't. I didn't know. I guess that makes more sense because he's older. My time's not that great. Oh, that's panned. Um. We got a hello from somebody, but their font is too yellow to see. Oh. <laughs> hello, whoever you are. Gigio gets that emote, puts, putting it to work here. Wants you to play a little faster, huh? That's fair. That's true. Yeah, you have to have the dark theme to see the uh, name that yellow. <laughs> I usually I do have the dark theme personally, but Karen doesn't like it. Boom shakalaka. I was hoping you'd see that one. I was trying to get over there. Nice. Oh, you Right, you were going to play queen g7 then knight up yeah. I yeah. knew it. <laughs> he's like, well. That's why I moved the pawn because I wanted to move the queen away. Definitely. Definitely. Oh, you shouldn't ever resign against me, Kangaroo. You know I blunder a lot. Oh. I thought you'd win, though. GG. I mean, you still have a minute and 46 seconds. That's quite a lot for yeah, a queen up. Yeah, but my team was team. That's <laughs> time wasn't that great. Yeah, I was, I was going to try to get my queen over there and do that same maneuver, but then you helped me out. Want to look at it? Yeah. I forgot what you told me. <laughs> right. Oh, I said bishop e7, but yeah, it doesn't matter too much. I know. I remember, I even pointed that out, right. that part I remember, <laughs> that I couldn't remember after that. Just tell me again. So h6 is more precise than castling. Okay. But it doesn't matter too much. So here there are two moves. You could play the Lasker variation oh, yeah. or the Tardikauer. It's typically B6. I know it's not always a rule, but I'm just saying typically it seems to all get yelled at a lot about moving my B pawn. So that's what's hard for me to remember. All right, you just want to get your bishop out. That's the point of this know. position. Yeah, okay. And the reason that it might be bad is like in an exchange variation, mm -hmm. you can already get your bishop out. So then somebody might yell at you for playing b6 after the pawns have already been exchanged. Okay. Um, or b6 might be bad if you've already gotten your bishop out and you play, like they attack your pawn and you play b6. That's the one reason my dad would yell at you for it. Like if your bishop's already here and they play queen b3 attacking your pawn, don't play b6. Because then your, your white squares will be weak. But if you're playing b6, bishop b7, that, then he won't yell at you for that. <laughs> really. Yeah. It's, it is typically because when I do it, it's always because I'm weakening yeah. the white squares. But. This move is pretty bad. Takes is probably right. Now here he blundered this. You could just take with the queen and you win a piece. He just hung his knight. Oh, yeah. Instead he went here. I was like, what? What's going on here? <laughs> I just panicked. I was like, wait. It was a panic. It I was, could tell. I, You're yeah, like, oh, was... no. Ah. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> it's be the best day of my life. <laughs> Take that. 
And then here, that was a good move, I guess. Then he blundered this. Nice. And yeah, you win two pieces for a rook here. He did the best he could at this point. He took mm -hmm. your knight, which is right. So you have to take with the g-pawn. Then he checked you, so you have to take with the king, obviously. Mm -hmm. But now you got two pieces for a rook, so it should be probably a win. Mm -hmm. It's pretty tough because he's got a pawn, and you've got a lot of isolated pawns. Your king isn't really weak, though, because it's just rooks. Mm -hmm. like, there's no minor pieces, so you're not going to get made it. You just put your bishop there. Oh, okay. Or, you know, put, get your knight in there like you did. Like hey, that's it. Thank you for pointing that out about the minor pieces. Yeah, you can't get mated here. Unless, but that like, wasn't big rook was. that wasn't obvious to me, actually, so for the future. <laughs> yeah. I didn't really think about it that way, but that's actually important. No, I would, like, develop my bishop probably. I, I don't really see what's wrong with that move. Mm-hmm. It looks good to me. Right here, I guess it's okay. I don't really know. I don't really know about it. Then, yeah, now you're in a pin, so he's threatening f4. But you almost missed it. Yeah. You, play, you were, all, like, about to play here and stuff. Then, then you I saw, saw it. it. You saw I it. I saw nice. it. I don't see pins very well. You did say that earlier, but you saw two pins this game. I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me turn this phone off. Then that was a good move, even though never play f6 and then mm. come it. Yeah. So yeah, you played it pretty well that game. I mean, c5 wasn't good. Then you should have taken his knight, obviously. Yeah. But then after that, it was all pretty good moves. The tactics were all good, and that was all good. F5 is okay, I guess. Probably not best, but it looks okay. And then yeah, this is a good idea. But I do wish you would develop your bishop instead of like moving your pawns a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That would be my only other critique. <clears throat> Anyways, you want to look at those games? Yeah, definitely. And then remind people what games we're going to go over because we probably got some people. Yeah, definitely. Well, the first game is going to be Peter Heine Nielsen against Peter Svidler, Battle of the Peters. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, it, This was in a theme tournament, so everybody had to play B3 on move one, I believe, because that was like the name of the tournament was like, you know, Larson's B3. Uh, where was the tournament? Yeah, Larson B3 Blitz. It was in Politiken, Politiken, hmm. I think, was the name of the place that it was. <laughs> Not sure. I've seen that name before. But anyways, uh, so everybody had to play B3, and it was Blitz. Uh, the second game won't be Blitz, but it's tough to find a lot of B3 games, you know. Mm -hmm, Mostly true. a Blitz opening. Now what are they saying? The permit. Is the permit working yet? I still need to do stuff. Yeah, they won't Maybe. even let you type out dot anymore. Maybe uh, you should spell dot like D-A-U-G-H-T. Dot. <laughs> that well, would trick it. There's no way to... it, it's, it's <laughs> set for that. You I know? changed something in Twitch itself, but... Oh, you think it's working? And, um... Anyway. The hope was it was going to work. <laughs> so, B3. And here, uh, both the times we'll look at people playing D5... The last times it was always the E5, right? That, those are the two games that Fisher won. Um, maybe they both played E5 on move one, or maybe they did some move order. They must have. But we'll, both the times they'll be playing D5 here. Not that D5 is better than E5. just happens black wins both these games. Okay. D5 and E5 are both very good moves. You can even play other moves, but those are two best ones, as you might imagine. And then here's the idea. Bishop G4. Interesting idea. And it stops e3. So if you're like playing this in one minute chess, don't play here and then pre move e3. That's a terrible pre move because bishop g4 is like the most common move. <laughs> so don't pre move a move that would hang the queen to the most common. Move. Oh, I see. And that's the whole point of bishop g4 to stop e3. Mm -hmm. You might say, well, why don't I just play e3 first? Then they can play e5. Then they can play e5, d5. And then they can play bishop d6. You don't make them play knight c6. So they can play bishop d6 and c6. I don't understand what you're saying, that if you go e3, mm -hmm. you said then they can play d5. e5. I mean e5. Yeah. So. Now if they play e5 first, they can't play bishop d6 after d. They can't play d5, bishop d6. They have to play knight c6 here. Right. Oh, okay. So if you let them, you don't want them to play e5 and d5 and then bishop d6 and then c6. Here, at least, they block their c-pawn, so they can't play c6. Okay, I see what you're saying. For example, with colors reversed, this is the best setup against the Owen defense. 
is to play bishop d3 instead of knight c3. Mm -hmm. and then you could, if they attack with the c-pawn, they'll play pawn to c3. That's the way to do it. So white doesn't have to worry about that when white plays b3, though. Right. If okay. they play e5, then they have to play knight c6. If they play d5, then they can't play e5. Okay, yeah. Here. And uh, I want to play in a theme tournament where you have to play f3, g4. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Master oh, yeah, John. Oh, Master John's in, in the How's chat. How's it going? Showing off those chess coach net emotes. <laughs> so Nielsen plays the most interesting way here with white that you can play. We'll see in the next game that Rapport plays h3, which is probably the best move. Um, but well, it's close. I mean, it doesn't, it's hard to say. f3 is what uh, Nielsen plays, and it's actually a pawn sacrifice. I mean, not yet, but it will be. Bishop h5. You can also play bishop f5 for the record, but then I kind of like f4. I think that makes a lot of sense for white to do that. You're sure white wasted a tempo, but so did black by going back and forth. Right, okay. And then you just play like, you know, like anybody who plays b3 would play. Because most of the time people who play b3, they like to play with f4. Not that f4 is the only move, but, you know, it could do it. Anyways, bishop h5, that's the best move in my opinion. Well, I think actually bishop f5 might be more common. So e4 takes, and queen e2. Now, uh, Svidler didn't take here, but I was just wondering if he did take there, which way would you take back? Okay, so if he takes... Um... Yeah, that's a question. It is a question. Oh, the chat got it, though. <laughs> Pretty smart chat. <laughs> Pretty sneaky chat. Um, yeah, I don't know, because if you take with the knight, but then you block. If you take with the pawn, your bishop can get out. Right. Um, take with the knight, then you develop your knight, though. Right. And your pawn structure is better. Mm -hmm. I would take with the knight, because that's who I am as a human. But <laughs> oh, that move is not best. <laughs> I had a feeling it wasn't, but I could have figured out why. But pawn takes isn't best either. It was a trick question. Oh. <laughs> There's uh -huh. a better move than taking back. Hey, you can't do that. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you could. Ch oh, I see. Check and take the bishop. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. I wasn't even looking that's at another the trick. move. You trick. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why he played c6. Ah. <laughs> Spindler saw it. He, maybe he already knows this even. <laughs> this gambit does have a name. Let's see if it knows it. I don't know it. Uh, no, it doesn't say. I, I forgot what the name was. It starts with the letter L. Takes. Knight takes. Yeah, you want to take with the knight if you have to take it back. Mm -hmm. Develop your knight. That seems better. But yeah, the bishop is the problem here. Mm -hmm. This gambit isn't the best, but it probably doesn't lose by fours. Then h3. So they want to play g4, bishop g2. So you said this... Gambit has a name. Yeah, but I forgot what the name was. Oh. But it starts with the letter L. Oh, they should have it up there. Why don't they have it? it? They don't. Yeah, I know. I, know I, I looked at it. It doesn't have it. Yeah. I would expect it to. Mm -hmm. But it like stops after, I don't know, some move. It doesn't, mm -hmm. doesn't like, it doesn't keep going looking at the variation or looking for names for the variation. Mm -hmm. Hey, Noobmeister. Yeah. So H3. And then he takes on F3. This is actually the best move. And then he plays queen a5. Always do this. And bishop a3. So he gave up the bishop pair. Um, but this knight like might have been dangerous. Could have been. 
like after g4 knight g5 knight e5 and bishop g2 mm -hmm. knight's pretty good and he's hoping to trade away white's bishop pair by trading away dark square bishops so obviously that's a no-no mm -hmm. that's why he played king b1 actually because if the king was on c1 here it would be a pin and you couldn't retreat right so yeah. always play king b1 then always retreat that's how you play chess even when you gambit the pawn g4 castles queen side now nielsen makes a mistake like a small positional mistake which we have to forgive him for because it was a uh, you know blitz game mm -hmm. and also uh you know it's it's a b3 theme <laughs> tournament so <laughs> probably he didn't care too much uh, he played the normal move bishop g2 i think most people would do that the problem is that uh, the response this fiddler played here, h5, is really strong. There's not a great way to handle this. The, the deal is that if you just let him take, you'll get an isolated g-pawn, and he'll target that g-pawn, mm -hmm. which is basically what happens in the game. So it would be smarter for him to anticipate that and play rook g1. And then h5 can be met by g5, and then we can even target the f-pawn ourselves. So you didn't have a problem with moving the bishop so much as the not moving of the rook? The problem is that black's going to play h5. That's the problem. Right. And he ignored it. But that's good for black if he gives you an isolated pawn. I don't want an isolated pawn. Right. Okay. So that, that, that's why rook g1. It, that's not the only move. You can even play like queen g2. Should be kind of a weird move, I thought. Mm -hmm. But then, again, we can play g5, where you can't normally play g5 because the queen would take it. After bishop g2, you can't play g5. You just hang the pawn. So that's that's the problem. And now he's actually uh, in kind of bad shape here. He plays uh, another inaccurate move here, knight e4. He's just going to get busted up by uh, knight e5 coming up, taking, and knight e5 is going to hit the queen and, and the pawn. And that's not great. And he doesn't want to have to trade his dark square bishop away. That'd be horrible. His king would be weak and gives up the bishop pair. Okay. So uh, knight e4 is also a little bit inaccurate. He should just move his queen. Like queen f4 is the computer suggestion. Get out of the way of knight here with the tempo. So uh, instead here. So now uh, it's actually already winning. Just a couple of inaccuracies. And it's already a risky opening to begin with. And he's lost. Queen e2, knight, uh, which one did he use to take? This one? Yeah. Anyways, trade it here. Like this. Yeah, I actually didn't have any more notes for the game. Always do that. And then uh, queen f2. He can't really do anything, right? He's just like moving around randomly. Mm -hmm. Because he's down two pawns, and they're all protected, connected pass pawns. So he's making, okay. like, some one-move threats, I guess. Even that is, like, you know, not too dangerous. He goes queen c5. Trying to trade the queens, of course. Wouldn't mind that. And you can't take here because your queen is hanging. So he moves it. Now he's still threatening this, so he de defends it. Here. Got the rook to the open file. Random move. You know, what are you going to do? Got to play random move sometimes. Yeah, black is just so solid here. He just has absolutely no weaknesses. There's nothing that white can attack. Rock solid stuff here. He keeps sort of bullying him with queen trades. So come on, yeah. you know you want to trade queens. Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to trade queens. Here. Bishop b4. And also white's going to uh, get attacked on the king side, or I guess it's the queen side, but, you know, his king's going to be attacked here in a second. Yeah. Now it looks like he won material, right? But then uh -huh. after the next move, white resigned. This fiddler had an answer for this. What's it going to be? Oh, uh, let's see. I think you could, um, 
maybe sack the queen. Queen takes a4 maybe, and then rook a5, or maybe, I'm not sure if you can do that. Because if you had the rook on a1, then it would be... Mate in the face. Mate in the face. Um, but I'm not sure if you take there. Queen takes. But I can defend my a4 pawn. Yeah, that's true. Um, let's see. Oh, you could just go queen b4, I think. Can't you? Yeah, that's what he did. Yeah, queen b4. With the idea to go to a3. Mm -hmm. Get it Which on is there. Uh, unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Really. Well, he could try to play king a2, right? Mm -hmm. But now, okay, he didn't win the rook, so he's just going to move his rook. So he saved it. And he's got, like, a ton of good moves here. Like, this is good. Yeah. That's pretty good, because then we're th threatening those sacrifices he wanted. Mm -hmm. And anyways, he's still down two pawns for nothing. And now his king's not getting mated as well. Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to play th this anymore and just resigned. So that was a really good game by Svidler, especially considering it was a blitz game. He made no mistakes at all. Mm -hmm. And his opponent played like a weird gambit, and he just defended it solidly and then took over the game. A couple of inaccuracies. Obviously, like, the opening is weird to play f3 and e4 is risky to begin with. And then uh, this is the right way for black to play. But yeah, then he should have played rook g1 here so his g-pawn wouldn't be weak. And then he shouldn't have played knight e4. He should have moved his queen so he wouldn't lose his extra his other g-pawn. Yeah. But then he lost both his pawns, and so now he's losing. <laughs> yeah, hard to come back from that. Definitely. Fiddler's got good technique. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody doing? Hey, Great Wolf. Um, F3, LOL. <laughs> LMAO. <laughs> hey, does anybody know who won um, Title Tuesday? I didn't get to see the end of it. I think it's Naka. over. Oh, he did? Hikaru won? Yeah, I didn't get to see it. I saw the um a little bit of the first part, but then I didn't see the whatever they call it. Second part? Playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> the party of the first part. <laughs> All right, well cool. I was just curious. How's the lesson going? It's going well. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> All right, so we got another game, so let's get to it. Now, who's playing in this, this game? This is Rapport against Vashir Lagrav. Okay. Let's see the year. This was recent, 2017. Mm -hmm. And it might have even been a slow game. It was from the Char Sharjah Grand Prix. don't know how to pronounce that. I don't know how to pronounce anything. Got some easier to pronounce names. <laughs> but that might have been Blitz, too. I don't know. So same thing. Now remember in the last game it was never play f3. Mm -hmm. uh, this time he plays h3. Does rapport, deviating from uh, the you know Nielsen's fiddler. H3 is a little bit more solid. Doesn't have the idea to give up a pawn immediately. And he goes for d3. Yeah. Interesting move. Mm -hmm. Knight d7, and he plays g4. And he even goes f4. So the point of d3 is that you can't, like, checkmate me. So moves that don't deal with the threat of winning your bishop will lose a bishop. Whereas if the spawn was here, we wouldn't have to worry about this because we could just play e6 in response because e6 threatens mate. Mm -hmm. This is also something that my dad showed uh, for his uh, his is stream on about the Dutch you know because it sort of looks like a Dutch except with some extra moves thrown in you know it's like a Dutch but with extra steps and uh, here white is not going to get mated like you would in the in the similar line to the Dutch so f4 it actually sort of threatens the, the bishop so he plays e6 now the check would still be annoying mm -hmm. you'd have to play king d2 so knight f3 and then h5. 
And yeah, uh, Vasya Lagrov handles this in a really classical way. He doesn't move a lot of pawns. These are the only three pawns he moves throughout the middle game. And obviously these two need no explanation, and even this one shouldn't need too much explanation. H5, G5. So he's got control of the square, and I really like how he handled this. Knight E7. Knight H4, and then here comes Knight F5. Knife F5, you might say. Really good play by Maxime varchier Lagrave. Who would have thought? Well, me. <laughs> he's pretty good. Yeah. And uh, Rapport plays the right answer here so the knight's hanging so you're gonna have to deal with that and he wants to take one of these pieces it might seem obvious to take the bishop right i mean it is a bishop mm -hmm. after all and uh you double the guy's pawns right right but there's a problem here that the knight is really good and black is like threatening you know threatening to play d4 which will stop you from ever playing e4 because of on passant. So if you want to play this, you probably should play e4 now while you still can. While you still have the chance. And then after takes, takes knight g3. Well, it's a fork, but even if he doesn't end up taking the pawn because of like some counter tactics, like for example here, the knight is amazing on g3. Mm -hmm. This is the problem of pushing all your kingside pawns. Your opponent gets in behind it. And yeah. An outpost for the knight in your position mm -hmm. it's not really acceptable so black would be significantly better there so he actually has to take the knight that's the only move and he did it bishop takes so it's already successful for black because he basically has no problem and he's just gonna have very easy development for his bishops and good control of the center and everything is really solid Hikaru calls it El Passant? I don't think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, though. <laughs> Ginger see. did not stream, so I did not watch it. He didn't stream Title Tuesday? Pinky yeah. Jim, okay. Bishop G2. And now uh, Vashir Lagrave plays an interesting move. He goes for E5. Yeah, I like that move a lot. Yeah, that seems good. Challenging in the center, threatening this pawn. Mm -hmm. And if you take it, then the G pawn's hanging. So, Rapport just plays queen d2. Good move. I mean, he wants to castle queen side anyway, so he might as well get his queen out of the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then bishop e6. I like how his bishop went all around town here. Yeah. And then back <laughs> to e6. Bring it around mm -hmm. town. Bishop e6. Knight d2. Bishop d6, queen h4. So black is clearly playing as classical as possible. I mean, look at that. Everybody right in the center and didn't move too many pawns at all, like I mentioned, only moved three pawns. And his position is super solid. White, on the other hand, is playing in the opposite style. He's playing hyper-modern. He's defeating Keto both his bishops, doesn't really move his center pawns too much. And playing like, you know, g4, g5, and, and b3, and, and f4. So it's a clash of styles um, in, in this position. Still think it's pretty close to equal, I would say. I'd, I would prefer black because I just like how black's king is like pretty safe. And I guess while well, white castles queen side, it'll still be pretty safe though. And both sides have some, uh, some pluses and minuses. Like, this pawn is pretty weak. Mm -hmm. But you could say that this pawn is a potential weakness. It's on a half-open file. So, yeah. You know, there's that. So, interesting position. I think both players were happy at this point. I don't really think he's, you know, one side's much better. Knight e5. Knight f6, or knight f3, rather. And knight g6. Hitting the queen. Big check. Yeah, the queen's really getting a workout. So he provoked the bishop to go back. And then here. So now it's a fork. Mm -hmm. But uh, Vashir Lagrav doesn't mind that at all. He goes for c5. Daring you to take stuff. 
double daring you even. Yeah. You might say. <laughs> so if he takes the G pawn, for example, he was probably worried about this move, I think. Let's look at my notes here. Yeah, this move, which cuts off the bishop's influence, and it's also sort of trapping the queen. In fact, the computer recommends here after castles for it to be a draw. White doesn't really have a choice here. Black does have a choice, but white doesn't. Right. Draw. Um, I didn't actually look at if he should take this pawn. I'll admit, uh, I thought it was because of this move, but I'm seeing that this bishop's also hanging. Adam Pawn Demonium says double daring. Right. Mm -hmm. He's right. Double dog daring him. <laughs> so I don't know what black would play here. I mean, he's got options. Right? He could play a bishop move or a knight move. Even has an interesting check, which I don't like. <laughs> but, you know, got to look at your checks, right? Mm -hmm. So here, takes, would be forced, takes, check. Well, that already looks pretty good for black because, uh, you know, he has to move his king and he can't get castled then. We can always escape with our knight. No, we can't go back because he's defending it, though. So I don't know, that's still pretty messy. He Maybe he could get away with this. Because if bishop c6, it would be... Queen f5, I guess. Yeah. I don't really like queen c4. Oh, you could just castle. I mean, it could be upon sacrifice, even. Just ignore knight f4 entirely. Yeah, there's a lot of moves that black could play here. Because black could even check. But then we can move our king to defend the bishop, in case you're trying to fork. Right. Okay. But even maybe that's good. Black's got a lot of good-looking options here. But he didn't like one of them or all of them. Can black play knight e3 check after? You mean here, takes, takes... Well, I could play king f2, so you can't play knight e3 check. Instead of king f1. So I could stop that. Anyways, he goes for... Uh, he just moves the queen away. He plays queen e3 check. Peter said that was fine. It liked queen g7 the most, but then it said it should repeat and draw. It's hard to believe that Rapport would uh, would be so against a draw. Like, is he really like, I'm never going to draw Vashir Lagrav. You know? Like, I think that he might be okay with it. Yeah. <laughs> but he does have white, so he probably wants to win. He's a pretty aggressive player. Why didn't white castle? He's too busy to castle. Come on. <laughs> He's too busy going, you know, queen over here and then queen over there. <laughs> He's got a lot of stuff to do. Also, black doesn't castle this game because black plays king f8. Oh, yeah, bishop g3 check was suggested by Mr. Mr. Summon. Or Mrs. Omen. <laughs> hard, to, hard to know. Yeah, I always say... Oh, you know, it's probably mi I've been saying Mrs. It's, it's probably Mr. Soman. <laughs> yeah, either way. Because Mr. Soman and I have emailed before. Pretty so, sure it's Mr. King of Fate's a fine move because it's check and the pawn is hanging. So he defends the pawn and gets out of check. Computer liked this move more, though. Although it's, it's pretty close to the same. After takes, which obviously he didn't want to see that Vashir Lagrav. It wants to play d4 to block the bishop from retreating and hit the queen with a tempo. Then once the queen moves, I didn't mean to play there, but okay, for example there. That actually might lose the queen. No, no, no. Because he's got this square. Anyways, after that, it's just going to be tough for this bishop to get back to safety. Um, but Vashelagrov didn't want to do that. He didn't want to lose his pawn, so he just played king of eight. Which is, I think, also just as good, really. And then now, because uh, just because Pam was so worried, White did castle kingside. Why didn't he castle queenside, you might ask? Mm -hmm. Why not? Um, you should probably lose your queen. Yes, yes. Easy <laughs> tactic, right? Yeah. So he's got to, if he castles, he's got to castle kingside. But this might even be the losing move. 
castling kingside. As we'll see, Vashir Lagrav has some forcing moves that cause problems for white. So what should he have did? Good question. Knight e5. Trying to trade some stuff away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Mr. Soman figured it out. Bishop f4, absolutely. Then, let's say he takes. Takes d4. It's just a sample variation. So here, here's the problem that you might have with, uh, with white here, is that your queen has to do guard duty on two things. And if you want to throw in this check, it'll be loose after the king moves, and you move your queen. So I could play a tactic like that later. Mm -hmm. So if you play queen g3, though, I can kick you, and you still can't defend both things. It's impossible. You have to give one up. Probably you should give up a pawn. It's not as... This is the computer variation, actually. So you lose this pawn, but you do get this pawn. Counterattack. Bishop's hanging, but the rook's hanging. So pretty sharp variation here. Wait, no, why couldn't you go bishop d6 check? You can. Okay. But the issue will be after the king moves that you've got to watch out for this. Oh, the other bishop. Okay. Bishop takes h3, and then oh, it'll be a discovered attack. All right. That's why the computer liked queen g3 more. And then here, rook e8, this is my variation. Bishop d6 check, king here. So material is, I'm going to say equal. <laughs> Seems right. 2, 4, 6, yeah, to 6. And white even has the bishop pair. But black's king is really safe, and white's king is not very safe. And it's not going to get safe anytime soon, because castling kingside is illegal and queenside. And even if castling kingside was legal, it wouldn't be safe. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, so this is a weird position. Computer says it's pretty close to equal, though. Hmm. I would definitely take black any yeah, day of the week. Yeah, I'd be frightened if I were white. Hey, AJ. So he didn't play 95. He played, uh, he castled. Pam's happy about that. <laughs> Although it is a bad move, unfortunately. We'll see that, uh, like we, I was saying, he gets into some tactical problems. First of all, Vashir Lagrav plays queen c7, stopping knight e5. Great move. And he's going to bring his rook over here. Vashir Lagrav doesn't mind that he had to play king f8 because his rook is still pretty good here because he played h5. Could play h4. His rook's useful on the h file. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't mind that he can't castle, and his king is not in danger. If anybody's king is weak, it's white's. So he gets out of the way of the rook move. And I guess out of the way of this, too, because he played three now. Well, I guess this... Oh, no, I thought the knight was attacking. That's not how knight moves. So, yeah, bishop f4, he played three. Queen d2, rook e8. Now this move is threatened again, because you can't play e3 after it. So e3 first. And then king g8. And d4. This is a good move. It looks kind of weird, but he's stopping black from playing knight e5. And he can also try to take and deflect the bishop or queen away. And then once he does that, he can put his knight on d4, which is a good square for the knight. The problem with d4 is it weakens e4, but that's not a big deal, because this knight can't get there anytime soon. And the rook probably doesn't want to be there eyeballing the bishop. And okay, maybe he can do some maneuver like this, but it's a little slow. But still, Vashir Lagrav finds the right way to go. He targets these kingside weaknesses. Queen c8, best move. Give me that pawn, right? And now here uh, is another mistake, potentially, that Rapport played. But I think he's losing here, actually, no matter what. I think the castles is that big of a mistake. I mean, the problem was it weakened his h-pawn. Actually, his h-pawn would be defended here. The computer recommended variation is to take it, which makes sense. And then just go here. See, you didn't want to do this because then both these things would be hanging. So you don't want to do that. But it just gives up one of the pawns because now this is kind of weak. Although then this would be weak. But we can play through the variation. He actually has kind of a tricky move here, this. With a couple of threats. One is mate, pretty big threat. The other is the fact that this queen is overloaded. So we can take one bishop, then take the other. Mm -hmm. So black has to defend against mate <clears throat> and the double bishop attack. 
And there's only one winning move for black here. I was hoping you could find it in this variation. What's the only way that black can stop both threats, I think? without uh, giving anything up. I see, maybe bishop f8. Always play bishop f8, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Saving the bishop, so if you take, you just play queen takes. And also stopping mate, of course. Nice. Takes, and then your bishop's hanging, so you have to play bishop c8. Bishop f8 and c8, together at last. <laughs> and then knight d4. So this is the best that white could do from the position. It's a pawn down. And it's it's very little compensation, no compensation really. Um, you know, it's a passed h pawn, and again, the rook is good on h8, and the passed h pawn is pretty strong. These bishops are not necessarily bad, though. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. they're pretty strong. You got to watch out for those guys. But yeah, I mean, it, it's an extra pawn, and, and I think it should win with perfect play. But you'd still have to have some good technique, really. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about the wooden shield. <laughs> what? That was just an XQC. I didn't know about that. Invention. I'm gonna go down there now. Okay, thank you, sweetie. You want a sweet tea, right? Yes. No lemon. <laughs> so DC was the best try. He plays H4 because just to save his pawn. Mm-hmm. And uh, he doesn't lose material right away, but his king is, like, pretty weak. And his h-pawn is still weak, even though his knight's defending it. So that's kind of a big problem. He tries knight e5 here, which that is a, a computer-recommended move. Um, but he will have a terrible pawn structure and lose everything then. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to suggest an alternative. Yeah, you know, I don't think you want to take it, right? And you could take this, but that would be very similar to what we just looked at. You know, this is hanging is the problem. And what else could you try? Not a lot of candidate moves here. Knight e5, that's what he played. I mean, you could just improve, right? No, but then bishop g3. Yeah, he's got too many kingside weaknesses. This guy's falling. Mm -hmm. That's not nice. So show me what happens if you take, take, then queen takes. Takes this? No, oh, with the bishop. Uh, bishop h3, you mean? Yeah. Queen takes threatens this. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's a kind of a problem. You can't defend with the queen because my bishop's there. Mm -hmm. If you go here, it's bishop g3 again. Also, if I don't win the pawn somehow, I'll play rook e5 and win it. So he's probably just going to lose the h pawn. No mm -hmm. matter what. That's why he should have just taken and given it up to begin with. He's going to lose it anyway. But he thought he could maybe hold on to it somehow. But I think at this point he realized that it's getting too desperate and he tried a tricky move. Mm -hmm. Computer doesn't say that's a bad move, but he's just lost no matter what. So he gives up his bishop pair. But then he you know, trades away the bishop pair. And then queen g4, great move. Going to win the pawn, keeping this hanging too. And if you trade queens, which I think he does do, then his rook is really good, like I've been saying the whole time. Mm -hmm. but yeah, now white's position looks terrible. All of the pawns are hanging all over the place. Oh, no, no, actually, he didn't take just yet. I got ahead of myself here. He went like this. I probably would not win pog champs. Great wolf. <laughs> Thank you for saying that, cat Perhaps. face. <laughs> It'd be close, though. <laughs> and then after he took this, then he traded queens. Then he took this. But his position's falling apart all over the place. All the pawns are weak. Even this is weak, as we'll see. Mm -hmm. Knight f3 check. Rook h2 check. And he takes that. Rook f2, saving the bishop. But now it's just a matter of technique. Took here. And then uh, Rapport didn't take the pawn. He didn't want to get forked. Right? Right. There is an important... There's one more important... Actually, there's a couple more important moves coming up. Here it is. If Rook d7, which is what he did, mm -hmm. 
How do you think I, what would be the best technique here for black? Do you think? Uh, let's see. Um. You gotta play precisely to beat uh, rapport. Otherwise, he'll uh, he'll get back in the game, and next thing you know, he's not mm -hmm. winning anymore. Yeah. He's a slippery one, no doubt about it. Let you, let's see the right technique. Um, I'm not sure about it. Yeah, it's not easy because uh, you're up two pawns with black, mm -hmm. but your G pawn's going to fall for sure, and then he's also attacking your queen side. Right. The chat is, uh, this has no idea. Well. Suggesting illegal moves like the chat always does. <laughs> <laughs> Are you asking for a move or just a general idea? A move. Oh, okay. And a general idea. Why not? <laughs> Probably that is what he meant, Great Wolf. What? Knight d1. Mm. But he meant knight d8. Yeah, I was thinking move the knight because those pawns on the e file are weak. Um, I do like that move, knight d8, that somebody suggested because then it stops the rook from the rampage. Mm -hmm. But it feels unnatural to retreat, you know? It's pretty passive. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, how are you ever going to move anything? Right. Like, you can't move the knight because you lose your b-pawn. You can't move your rook because you'll lose your knight. Mm -hmm. You can't move your b-pawn, you lose your a-pawn. So everything will be kind of stuck there. That wouldn't be great technique. Mm-hmm. Although maybe it still could win somehow. But you have to play actively. There's an active move that okay. Vashir played to secure the win. But he's got to get his rook into the game. His rook is too passive. Yeah. Right now. Um, I mean, there's only one rook move you could play, right? Yeah, I mean, you can go rook c8. Oh, you want to play rook c8 in here? Oh, you... I want to get the rook in the game. So how are you going to do um, that? Um, You have to move the knight out of the way. And then you get the rook in. I don't see no, where else. No, it's defended, so you can't. That's true. I don't see where else you would move. Oh, I was looking at that, but it seems like if they trade, then you're gonna lose. Well, I guess you're gonna lose the g pawn anyway. Yeah, no matter the g pawns are gone. That's true. Trading would be great for black. Then you don't lose this. You're trading this rook, which is the best rook ever, for the most passive rook. So if they don't trade, which he didn't, he took the pawn. Yeah, okay. he's not going to trade. So then, you know, just maybe I don't know where you go. Rook d two. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Attack all the stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. Great technique here by Vasher Lagrav. He played here so that he could take this. Now that the bishop's blocking. Mm -hmm. But yeah, his rook is really good. It's targeting everything. You can't play with a passive rook and a passive knight like that. Right. Gotta take all the guy's pawns. That's how you do it. Great technique here. Plays bishop c1. That's a little passive, but he didn't want to lose three pawns. <laughs> so he's like, oh well, what am I gonna do? Here. Yeah. Now it's white who is passive. Mm -hmm. I mean, playing rook b1 would be so embarrassing. So he took this. 
But yeah, now he's still down a pawn, and it's a pretty good one. Still, he is requiring some good technique here. Hey, Christopher yes. James. Check. And then there. Yeah. Now with some tactics here, a little bit. He plays rook d1, best move. Attacking the bishop. So rapport takes here, attacking the knight. Mm -hmm. So what did Vash do about that? Hey, it's Ovi. Hey, Ovi, how's it going? Hey, try not to learn. You've been napping. Nice. Um, we'll get a little nap in. Let's see. Um, you could just go ahead and take the bishop. And then he'll take your knight. Um, and then it'll just be rook and two pawns each. Okay. And also my pawn's pretty good. And my king's better than yours. Kind of like white there. Um, Their rapport's tough. His position was ridiculous just a few moves ago, but he's making it like you have to try really hard to win. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I guess you need to move the knight. <laughs> Because I don't think pinning, pinning is your new thing. Pinning? I don't. Well, I mean, I like if you, well, if you try to, you know, attack the king with your rook, you're just going to lose your rook to trade the rook. So, I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I guess just move the knight. Knight f4. Um. I played an intentionally bad knight move because I want you to tell me the knight move. Okay. Um. Well, I don't really see a good one other than knight d8. I mean, it's not, it's a safe square. That's the only safe square, and it attacks the rook. Mm -hmm. So you should probably suggest that one, yes. Okay. <laughs> Definitely. Well, I wasn't sure if I was missing a tactic. Yeah, it hits the rook and the bishop, and this wins material. Mm -hmm. Because you can't, obviously you can't defend both. You can't even counterattack. After rook f8, mm -hmm. what would black do? Um, let's see. Oh, then you could actually rook F one check. Winning the rook, yes. Yeah. So this just wins material. He's got two things hanging, and it's over. Mm -hmm. He plays this. Now, you could take the bishop. That wins. But watch how precise he is. He checks first. The king can't step forward. He has to go backwards, and then takes the bishop. Now you can't push the pawn, because my knight will take it, because your king had to move backwards. Mm -hmm. See, MPL's no joke. Is that what they call the uh, in-between move? I would call it that. In intermezzo, yeah. maybe. This, I mean, now it's over. It's an, a night up for nothing. Here. Nice maneuver here, stopping this and getting mm -hmm. the knight to f6 is also good. Because here, trying to do this, but check. And the knight covers the square, which is nice, of course. Mm hmm. And he resigned. Yeah, I mean, he might lose this pawn. Like, there is a fork, but you have to be careful about promoting. But anyways, that doesn't matter, because he's got this pawn. As long as you got one pawn, you're going to win. Yeah. And he, he'll have this pawn forever. And this is a goner, and this is doing nothing. Mm -hmm. So now it's it's dead now. He, he doesn't have any more tricks or anything. 
It's a great technique by Vashir Lagrava. A perfect game by MVL, really. Yeah, I yeah. love that in game. Definitely, yeah. It was it was difficult. It was delicate, and Rapport put a lot of obstacles in his way. Mm -hmm. But he uh, deftly avoided all of them and brought home the win. Oh yeah, Zwish and Zook. <laughs> yeah. Zwish, Zwish or nothing. <laughs> it's like three things in one there. <laughs> nice. And be all riding on twenty inch chrome. <laughs> nice. Hey Van Leer. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Definitely. Yeah, that was a good game. I mean, Rapport only made a couple mistakes. Uh, you know, like, let's see, what was it? This was all fine. Still probably about equal here. Castles was the move, right? Castles was the mistake. Yeah. That's right. Very subtle mistake. But yeah, queen c7, rook e8, queen c8 was a great maneuver. Got his rook in and then put queen c8 to attack this. And then he just got too many weaknesses on the king side. It all fell apart. Mm -hmm. Dang, once upon a time I was falling in love though. <laughs> so yeah, good game by MVL, just like you'd expect. Do you want to play some more games against yeah, viewers definitely. now? Yeah, definitely. I was just thinking about how at karaoke somebody was suggesting us sing that dumb song one time. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> singing a dumb song like that? <laughs> yeah. I guess they thought my voice was similar. I'm like, I'm going to sing that song. So what are people saying? I can play somebody if somebody wants to um, yeah, you can give challenge. a challenge, and then Spencer can do his traditional analysis try not to learn says king side castles is a bin fine goal playing me move god damn <laughs> trying not to learn send a challenge if you want to play yeah i can play kangaroo sent a challenge but you already played him oh he wants re he wants revenge mm -hmm. <laughs> it's best served cold though <laughs> Oh, there's trying not to learn. All right, well, let me play try not to learn first. And then I can possibly... Um, Use exclam challenge if you want to see a, uh, you know, command about challenging. Mm. Classic Londo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a kind of probably a dumb idea, but I was thinking that you said they prop the doors open at karaoke. Yeah. So I could come <laughs> and just kind of stand in the doorway. Uh, that wouldn't be weird. It wouldn't? It would. Uh, <laughs> Archer and I were laughing about it. It would be kind of creepy. But I don't really think people would care. Unless there are like people on the patio, then the server would care who has to go between the patio and the, you know, and, and has to go through you. Yeah, you know? I'd have to get out of the way. And then I could still see people and um, just one idea. That is one idea. Mm-hmm. Pretty solid stuff. It's like the opposite of the games we looked at. Well, I guess Black was playing solidly in those games. <clears throat> yeah. It's a good move. Not the kind of move I'd like to see as Black. I would practice my arrow drawing, but I'm afraid I'm going <laughs> to move. Let's see. Well, just do a piece that can't move like the arrow you draw. Like, start with a rook and then go a diagonally. Yeah, or something. So if I go... You got to click and drag. Hey, the... Oh, okay. See, I already... <laughs> there you go. You got it. All right. Get a little arrow practice. Aerosmith, more like. That's you. <laughs> I was thinking about singing uh, a female artist. Yeah. Because you were talking about yeah, it. Yeah, you should definitely. Maybe some Nora. Yeah, I love Nora. Now you're talking. Yeah, definitely. 
Mm-hmm. I could sing some Nora. Because mm-hmm. she sings pretty low, too, so I wouldn't even have to go down an octave. Well, I mean, yeah, but it's, it's hard to even go by that, you know, obviously, because sometimes it's dictated by what key something's in. I can sing a lot of male singers. I probably sing as many male as female. Well, you got more options for male singers. Mm-hmm, that's true. I couldn't even, like, think of female singers. I was, like, thinking about whole, but yeah, no, they don't have any whole songs. Yeah, Accor- they do. According to online, they don't. But I know that they, actually, I knew that they did because you were, like, going to get, a, you were going to sing a whole I song. I have sung whole before. But on their website, it doesn't say that they have whole. I, I typed it in. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, they have the songs on the website? Thank yeah, you, you, t- sweetie. you told me to do that. To oh, you're talking about Sunfly. Sunfly. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant Chaplin's. No, no. <laughs> yeah, I've sung um, Doll Parts before. And yeah, I noticed that they don't have some songs that, that they do have. Well, they don't say that they have all the songs that they do Sunfly have. I thought Sunfly said they had Doll Parts. Because I remember a guy saying, it was it was Mike, he sang the Toadies song, mm-hmm. and they don't have any Toadies on their, on the website. Oh, because I'm think i pretty sure like, they have, um, pretty sure that they have doll parts listed. But it's been a while since I looked it up. I only typed in whole. I also typed in Courtney Love, though. And Courtney, and I, I didn't they, get back anything. I think they have that. Teenage Whore, too. Right. Well, maybe, but I couldn't find it. On the on the Sunfly website. Hmm. So I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, Nora would be good though. Yeah, I love Nora, and they have mm-hmm. it on the website at least. <laughs> mm-hmm. I need to go look. At May that. I suggest a Twitch sing stream someday? <laughs> Karen would like that. But we can't uh, we can't play music. It would have to be a cappella. Well, it's not clear to me. What the right, rules right. are if we got some karaoke tracks? I don't know what the copyright. Right, right. We'd, we'd have to do some research. Twitch sing sounds like something that's more official, so they may have clearance there. I've never looked into Twitch sings. I've seen Anna Rudolph do that because um, there is some. The karaoke place has a song. Like, yeah, I got confused too, um, Kangaroo. But. Um, Let me see what I'm trying to do here. This is like st- stuck. Okay, there it goes. It was, it was, I believe you. It was doing something I've been weird. there. I've been there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure there's a way that we could do some karaoke. Um, it would be Karen Yoki with you. On the stream. In fact, I was hoping to maybe do some sort of co-stream sometime with Gary, because he likes to sing. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't know who that is. Grandmaster Gary. <clears throat> Never heard of it. Mm. He's an FM, I think. Oh, he just calls himself Grandmaster? Yeah. Is it Shankar? Uh, Gary yeah. Gary Shankar. Oh, I played him once, actually. In Chicago Open. Oh, okay. Mm. I met him at um I don't really like these nights. How do you think your opponent feels about your night? In probably the same way. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty similar. <laughs> uh, but don't forget to play fast. Yeah. There's nothing even going on here. Who cares? <laughs> but um like no threats for anybody. Trying not to learn should also play faster. That's true. She said, baby, what for? Yeah, Nora would be good. Yeah, I love Come Away With Me. Mm-hmm, I love that song. Great one. I sing, um, what's that song? It's not very well known. 
Starts out like like a flower. I don't know that one. <laughs> oh, turn me on, turn me on. It's a cover song. I love that song. That's one of my favorite uh, songs. You met Ravi Shankar? <laughs> no, <laughs> I did not. I sang some other uh, Nora song a long time ago. Don't know why. I think I did sing that one. That was it. Yeah, you were there, I think. A very long oh, time I, ago. I don't remember, but oh, that's just the only I, other one oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is the one that I sang. Has anyone said you look a bit like Alanis Morissette? Nobody's ever told me that, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, I think somebody has said it before. All right. Nora Jones live streams on YouTube. Is that true? I find that hard to believe, but I would believe it. Hmm. You remind me of Jeff Lynn from ELO. Just need the glasses. Huh. I know about, I like ELO a lot, but I don't know about, uh, I don't know about that guy. Jeff Lynn. I don't know what he looks like or his name, <laughs> who he is, okay. what he's all about. Well, I know he's all about mm. ELO, I guess. Oh, shit, my time's crap. Let's go back. His time's crap, too. That's true. I didn't even pay attention. I just now noticed it was crap. Crap time. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, I just went on time. Uh, you know. I know. <laughs> Your knight's better than the queen. <laughs> Draw by Draw. repetition. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Good Thanks, game. Thanks, Cy Bradbury, for 200 bits. Good game trying not to learn. <laughs> I forgot to um, watch my times. I was talking about karaoke too much. <laughs> I know. I just, I always keep, I can't give up trying to win a game. And I need to get, know when to give it up, give it up and just try to win on time. <laughs> What did you learn from this game? That, you know, I'm slow. <laughs> hey, before you before you analyze it, well, we might learn something, Van Laser. I have to give a quote from Hikaru's stream today. It's just a little minor, funny little thing. I don't know if you guys were on Nerdisky's stream maybe a couple of months ago. He was so furious. He was so furious at um, Hikaru. Mm -hmm. And... Um, thank you, Pet Series. And I don't remember exactly what happened, but they were playing Blitz or bull, uh, Bullet, Bullet. Mm -hmm. And I guess he thought Hikaru was mad because he was trying to win on time. And I can't remember why he thought Hikaru was mad or even if Hikaru was mad. I think Hikaru was tired and did did have a little bit of an attitude about it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I've never seen Nerditsky talk badly about anybody like That's that. True. What was it? Very I think rare. I sent you the links. I can't no, remember. No, no, no. I, I can't remember, remember now my, what he said. He was saying stuff it. like, you know, I know he used the word shit. Damn, right. I wish I could remember what all he said. If trying to learn were here, he could remind me what all it was sex. I sent him the links. Anyway, it was funny. Or got, especially coming from Daniel is yeah, the funny part. It got never, smoothed uh, over. He Ch never would say stuff Yeah, like Chess that. Bay got into the chat. It was like, oh, no, Hikaru's not mad. He's just tired, whatever. And that may have been true. Anyway, <laughs> so today I was on Hikaru's stream, and um, I just, he, he said something like he was playing some random person, and he says, oh, I just really want to play dirty here like Alarez, Alareza and Naraditsky, or Danya, like mm -hmm. Alareza and Danya, sometimes you just want to play dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought, I, I, I wonder what Naraditsky would think if he saw that little clip. 
<laughs> it was funny. Right. <laughs> he, and he didn't mean it as an insult, but it kind of was. Anyway. So I'm here, ready. I always tell you this when they're playing like a King's Indian. Yeah. This is the last thing you get developed. You go oh. here, there, H three castles. Yay! Thank you, Pinky Jim. <laughs> yes, lesson is play dirty and win on time. That is the lesson. Or draw. Do whatever you got to do. <laughs> Instead, you played here. So yeah, don't don't do that when they f do this. Okay. This is the last thing that you do. All right. You do all this stuff first. And then you decide whether to do C3 or C4 based on what they do with their central okay. pawn. So now, Tim, remind me, I know you told me if that. If they play C5, you want to play C3. But if they play with, like, D6 and E5, you want to play with C4, Knight, C3. So you don't know what they're doing yet. So oh, you, so you, so just you hold develop that. over here oh, first. Okay, I see. And then they'll, do, so they'll decide something eventually okay. by the time you've got castled. Done all that. Okay. You played c6, d5, which is pretty weird. I mean, I would definitely play d6, e5 when you play knight, d2, because that's not the right thing for white to do if black does that. Okay. This was all good. This probably isn't right when you can play bishop, e5, which you did play. Good move. Mm -hmm. That's why I always say when they play d6, you should play h3, because then you can't play bishop, e5 if they play knight, h5. What should he have done to my when I did that bishop move? I wasn't sure if he was trying to go f6. No, this is bad, and this is good. If he plays f6, you just go back, and then you provoked f6. That's what I was yeah, planning to do. definitely. Okay. So castling's okay. He should probably play knight takes, so his knight's not on the side of the board. But he did mm -hmm. this. Then he played here, because he didn't see you could do that. Then he waited to move, but then he did it next. Good. So now black's a little worse, because you have a bishop, and uh, he's got a bad structure. But it's not a big deal. It's... I like that four rook f3. Interesting, creative play there. He also got his rook here, which makes sense. Then he hung his pawn. I think you just take it, right? Oh, I didn't see it. Play I was this. thinking too much about what I was doing. My little plan, which didn't even amount to anything. This was good. Now here, you might be able to do a tactic. <clears throat> I think it works. This. Mm-hmm. And then that. Wow. I wasn't yep. going to see that. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah, sack everything, but you win at the end. You saw it. Try not to learn. Yeah, I wasn't going to see all that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Scottish Demon Goat. Instead, you played a like positional move. Nice. And then already around here, you're in time pressure, both of you. Mm-hmm. But geez, watching you two play in time pressure is like so slow, man. <laughs> it's just like you're both so slow. What are you doing? I didn't. I'd be know. making like ten times as many moves as you guys. Well, then I hung my queen at some point. That doesn't even. That doesn't matter at all. Usually it matters. Not here. It didn't. Not in this when game. you both have like ten seconds. It doesn't <laughs> matter at all. Yeah, this might be a good move, I guess, because it goes here. Yeah, any kind of a check. This would have been good. That's a good idea. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know if I would have done that. Because I might want this file open. Mm -hmm. Well, I was on. I, I mean, had almost this move looks pretty good, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. But yeah, basically, you should be making random legal moves, and you just, you guys don't do it. Like both, and then when you started making random legal moves, now you're playing good. But then he repeated, so you drew. Yay. Nice. <laughs> Tough but fair. It's not time pressure unless you feel it. Interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I would, you know, I would revisit the Ask Them at Karaoke because I think they, I know they have doll parts. Mm -hmm. But anyway, to finish that thought, I don't know, maybe, I don't know why I didn't show up on Sunfly. But right, they also, weird. they have other vendors too. So it could be the other vendor that, because they, they, they use more than Sunfly. Right. That must be it. Yeah, they use like two different things. Yeah. And so, mm -hmm. like, half of them are on Sunfly and the other half are on something mm -hmm. else I don't know about. Yeah. True. Nice. So, what's everybody um, saying or doing? I think we're going to have to end the stream soon. Did you guys see my uh, my gym badge this time? Try to get a different one. Ah, let me see. get up in there. <laughs> it's tough with the angle. Yeah, there we go. I think it's an ice-type gym, but I'm not sure. 
It's hard to know. I can't remember which gyms are, are like, which type of gym is in each generation. I also don't even know which generation this is. Mm -hmm. It's either two or four. I probably could <laughs> play one Thanks, more. Thanks, Hanks, Baton, one. Couldn't I play one more? I know you have, you always feel anxious to get set up, but couldn't you run a little bit past six? Okay. Or do you feel like that's that all right? Jeopardy. Okay. Maybe one more game. Sure. And then you can analyze. Maybe you could play the three-minute game too. Um. You know to make it a uh, faster. Faster. Okay. All right. We're gonna do one more game, and then Spencer's gonna analyze. And we have a class that Spencer's teaching tonight online. If anybody wants to do the class, um. Actually, there's the website right there, ATL Chess Club, that's, that Mubot just posted. That gets you to the website, and you could um, – it's not for a free class, so it's $15 for non-club members. Um, and if you don't want to pay for it, I get it. It will, But it's fun to do them. It's yeah, you get to ask questions Ask live. questions. And then – but eventually it will make its way to YouTube. Um, tell – what's the class again? It's going to be on 2A3 in the Sicilian, E4, mm -hmm. C5, A3. Yeah. Not the best move, like, <laughs> I will admit, after analyzing it for a while. I didn't really – wouldn't really say it's it's my favorite. Mm -hmm. But you got to do what you got to do. So that's why Spencer has to cut out in a minute, and mm -hmm. um, I will take that opportunity to also cut out and go home. <laughs> You had white twice in a row, but you did have black twice in a row at the beginning of this stream. Where are you, Scottish, on, Scottish demon, demon goat? goat. <laughs> hey, Nicola. Scottish demon goat. Oh. What? <laughs> Play somebody else. Quick. Um. Oh, Nicola wants a three minute. Oh, wait, he's back. Oh, you're back. Okay, Time I again. I don't know what happened there. You got it. He's got it. Come on, Scottish demon goat. What are, what are you doing? <laughs> There you go. Maybe now you're playing a chess move. He's got some issues with this internet or something. This is classic Scottish demon goat opening here. <laughs> it's random legal moves. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. This is like how Rapport played. Mm -hmm. He's pushing all his kingside pawns. He likes to play you know, aggressively. No, I don't blame him. Mm -hmm. I like to play aggressively, too. I usually don't hang all my pawns, but, you know, that's just me. <laughs> Everybody has a different style. Okay, but you have to play faster in a oh, three-minute yeah. game. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to speed it up. Yeah, the classes are fun. Too bad about your internet being too slow for the class. But yeah, when you get it fixed, hope to see you back. Back to black. Back in black. Amy Winehouse and ACDC. <laughs> there should be like a, uh, a parody of both of those songs put together. Maybe I should write it. Back uh, to black and back in black <laughs> in one song. Yeah. I yeah. go back in black. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sing. Um... Something. Well, hang on a minute. I was thinking. I probably wasn't the best. It looks good to me. What's wrong with it? Your position's too good? This is like the position MVL had. Like you have MVL set up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, F6? Where's the emotes? Come on. Yeah, I want to sing another whole song. Oh, what I was mm -hmm. going to sing is I want to sing another um, Chris Cornell song. Oh, yeah. I really wanted to sing a Chris Cornell song the other day. I just listened to it on my phone. It was, uh, it was Burden in My Hand. Love that one. 
I could sing it too. I could crush that one. Mm -hmm. I sang Fell on Black Days. That's a great one, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I might reprise that. Let's see. Come on, you're going to lose on time okay, at this Okay, well. There you go. I mean, he's playing terrible. Just play terrible. All right. Just... Now I'm way behind. Yes. Why I do this to myself every time. Yeah, see how badly he's playing, but he just plays fast. That's it, how you do it. It doesn't feel like he plays bad. I mean, I'm looking at it. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> just trust me on that. Well, he plays better than me. No, you're outplaying him easily. You're just totally winning here. But you got, you know, a lot less time, so. There you go. Now you're making some bad moves. That's the way to do oh. it. <laughs> yes, well, who cares? Just move it back. Yes. That's how you play three minute. You're already caught up on the clock almost. Mm. Oh, damn it. I didn't Come on, see make that. some random Whoa, moves. Well, okay, I didn't see that that was hanging, so, you know. That's all right, just random move time. All right, let's go. There you go. Nice. Great stuff. This is how you do it. Just keep it going. Wow, amazing. This is like you're playing fast and better than usual. Um, let's see. Big check. Nice. I love these random moves. See that. Hmm. Prophylactic time pressure moves. I mean, I don't even have a move. Well, the problem is the time. Good game. Aww. You did speed up a little bit, but then you hesitate. I know. You're just like, move, move, move. I just, I can't do it. I know. <laughs> but you're getting I, better. All right. All right. So you, quick analysis. All right. Let's see. What are people saying? Try Cochise and do the crazy. Oh. <laughs> so D5 is the best move, but you know that. Here, I might just take it because he can't check you anymore. And his knight is on a bad square for if you mm -hmm. take it. Yeah, I guess you don't have to. H6 terrible, G5 terrible. Here he hung the pawn and you just take it for free. <laughs> and so you went there. This is what I'm talking about, he's playing bad. He, he hung two pawns already. <laughs> he hung two pawns <laughs> in six moves. <laughs> you try to tell me oh, he doesn't play that bad. <laughs> <laughs> there, this was all great. I mean, A5, are you kidding me over here? A5, Rook, G8? What's going on with this guy? D5 is anti-positional, too. This was fine. That was good. That was great. And yeah, now you're positionally winning. That was okay. Might as well do that. See, I wouldn't uh, play A3 here um, because... Well, I don't know why you even did play A3, actually. But, you know, I might, uh, I, I might want to double Rooks on the C file. Mm. Seems like a good idea. Oh, okay. Or maybe like this, like you ended up doing later. I don't know. You got a lot of ideas here. It doesn't really matter too much. That's what you did, yeah. Then, yeah, you could take the pawn now, right? You notice that later. Yeah. No, Even here, you could take it. I was, it for several moves. But now you can't because your bishop was hanging, and then he defended it. Yeah. E4, best move. Yeah, you're already going to lose here because you had a lot less time. Mm-hmm. Then this seemed good. I'd probably go there, but I don't think it matters. Like I said, it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, now you're in trouble because he cut you off and he attacked this. So this yeah. is how he gets you. He plays really fast and bad, and then you're winning positionally, but then you make a tactical blunder, he actually finds it. 
Yeah, I know. That's how he gets you. Mm -hmm. And now you're losing. Uh, <laughs> and then you lost on time. And I do board. take pawns. I just don't always take pawns. <laughs> right. Anyway, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to have to end. Let's see who we're going to um, raid. Raid. Hmm. But what thank about you Jin? Thank you for that um, Jin's game. streaming, right? We know him or her. I don't know. Let me just do this real quick. Okay. Oh. Um, no, let me pick. Darn. Not a lot of choices. Um, I don't want to do those. Big mm -hmm. streams. Right, that's what I was thinking. Um, boy, t rough. It's rough, I tell you. Yeah. Oh, I see who I'm going to do. Definitely who I'm going to do. Okay, guys, I've picked. It'll be a big surprise. Don't at least go over with my raid before you <laughs> jump ship. Right. Okay, now come on. Yeah, make us look good by having a big raid. Then Come leave. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, you know, this is a nice person, mm -hmm. and everybody all know who it is. I feel pretty confident. Um, it's just the only people that are doing chess right now are, you know, they got like 2,000 people. And so, yeah, we'll see you later trying not to learn. Yeah, Ben is streaming at 8. Is it eight to eleven? I think, I think eight. So, yeah. And he's Usually on he's on my, chess TV. I think at nine to eleven. So I will be on that stream. Not probably not in person. That's not where you hit enter. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> but uh, okay. Thank you guys. Bye, I had everyone. a good time. I See hope you next had time. a good time. Take it easy. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>